Hi, this is Grant with Full Time Freedom RV, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about installing one of these. Uh, I don't know what you call it, a towel rack, but actually we're going to be using it in the kitchen. So for a rod for holding pots or pans or coffee mugs, things like that. So this is uh, the hardware here. Comes with the metal tube here, a rod, and it comes with the brackets. Comes with this little wrench to screw to put the screws in on the sides on the ends, and comes also with these Allen bolts. Um, if you want, you can also you can add two or three together. See, you can join them by putting another bracket in the center, and it comes with that hardware as well. So that's the additional piece that goes in the center to connect to connect the two rods together. But for our purposes, we're we're only doing it right here above the sink uh, on this far side. So we only need one because you can see we don't have that much space here. So we're just going to use one there. I'm going to first just put my brackets up and uh, and mark them with a pen pencil and then uh, I'm going to screw them up it didn't actually come with the screws I was surprised but it said to use these kind of round headed screws uh, we have Phillips head uh, instead of the flat head screws so we're going to use those Okay, I'm back. I had to uh, steal a pencil from my son's room for marking it. And so from looking at the directions, it shows that the brackets should go like this. With this part on the outside. So first I want to put this together, so I'm just going to put the ends on, this is just so we can get our measurement, just twist those on, doesn't have to be tight. I'm just going to put those equal. Okay. So that should work about there. And you'll want to always test it. So Whatever you're going to hang here, you want to make sure you want to get your hooks and you want to try hanging it to make sure that you have enough clearance below it or that your, uh, your mugs can fit correctly here how you want them. So I'm going to get the hooks and do that. Okay, so these are the hooks that we'll be using. Make sure you get the right hooks for the hardware that you have that they match together. And those just fit right on there like that. Some of the hooks uh, you actually have to slide on. So you're going to have to have this removed and then slide it on first if it has an eyelet there. But these ones are just, they just hook on. So those are nice. You can just take them on and off as you please. And you can slide them back and forth as you like. And you can put as many on here as you want. So for our purposes, this will just be hanging like this. And if my wife or I want to hang you know a coffee mug or something like that it could just be like that so that seems like that'll be working it'll be out of the way of the sink if someone comes through the door we want to make sure that nobody's you know gonna hit it so it has to be back far enough so this is a good clearance I feel and also we might hang some kitchen utensils or a small pot or something like that so I just want to make sure that'll also work as well 
and that looks good. Okay, so the next part is we're going to make sure that it's even. Uh, depending on how you're hanging it, you might need to use a level. Uh, I just basically have to make sure it's butted up against this piece right here on both sides and that it's relatively even on both sides and then I'm just gonna draw where my screws will go make sure you draw it in the center Okay, and the other thing that you want to do is you're going to make sure that you have enough room here wherever you're screwing in up top. So I'm going to be screwing in up into this. Uh, so I want to make sure that this is thick enough for the screws that I'm going to be using. So these are the screws that I'm using and they're, they're pretty small so I'm not really worried about them poking up through the top here. Uh, if you have a very uh, small space here, uh, it's not very thick, then you might have to add a little strip of wood or something here to screw into that wood. And uh, you'll need the wood on top or something on top or a cap or something so that it, it doesn't snag when somebody reaches in here. They don't get cut uh, by the screw top um, or your food, you know, bags of food and things don't get punctured by the screws. Okay, so now... I'm going to be putting the screws in. I have I've drawn my little marks and so basically I'm just if you have a drill you can use that. I'm just going to use this uh, screwdriver and my screw and push up into the wood a little bit to start it and then just start screwing it in. And it'll be a good idea just to look to see if, if you're going to poke through here on the top. But it looks like I'm going to be okay. I haven't poked through the top. And then I'm going to do the same thing going around with the different areas. You don't have to go all the way in. Just get it started with this. And it's better if you don't go all the way in on all of them so that you'll be able to grab the wood more tightly uh, when you do, do actually install it. Okay, so all the holes are started. Now, I can put it up. I mean, you could take this apart and put them up, or you could try to put it up like this. Uh, I'm going to try. Don't know how well it'll go I'm trying to hold all this, but let me see. And when you own an RV, it's good to try to find all these different creative ways to make space for yourself uh, because, you know, you don't have too much space. So the more organization you can do, the better in the long run. And to have things that are easily accessible like this, it means a lot in an RV. So let's put these on. Well, let's make sure it's strong enough. Yeah, it appears to be strong enough. I bought another pack of the hooks, but I don't know if we'll, if we'll use them all. But it's better to have a few extra. So there we have it.
and that's how it will look and like I said you can hang some pots or you know different things right there easily accessible uh, you could maybe even if you, if you wanted to hang have it hanging over the sink where you have uh, you know something to hold a rag or a sponge or something like that too so hope you enjoyed this video on how to hang uh, a rod for in your kitchen to make more space I'll put links in the video description about the uh, hardware or products that you can use uh, to install this hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day